Good morning. Day 86, June 28th today. There's my spot. I had a restful sleep. It rained for, uh, I don't know, till 9 or 10. Then it stopped, and it hasn't rained since. So maybe I'll have a little bit of a dry period. Everything's wet that I own, just about everything that uh, is outside. My shoes are wet. I've got, I, I've got uh, two pairs of socks that are soaking wet. Luckily, I, I stuffed another pair of socks in my uh, bag uh, when I got to Lincoln. So I've got three pairs. I'm wearing a dry pair right now. My feet are looking a little tepid. <laughs> I think they're tired of this wetness. I've got some little things on my feet that uh, uh, want to be foot rot, but uh, they're not quite there yet. So I've got to really try to take care of these things for um, until this rain stops anyways. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock, and I'm headed to Hanover. I'm going to get down there as soon as I can, get a shower, get my clothes wash, get some food, and then head to Lou's. And then head to the post office. I got a list of things to do. <laughs> uh, yep, that's it. Let's get going. And good morning, Mushroom. And I'll see you all in Hanover. Take care. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Bye-bye. And just like that, it started raining. Little bitty rain, big old drops of rain, sideways rain, rain coming up from the bottom, all kinds of rain. Just like that, boom, we're in town. Baseball diamond. Nice one. Alrighty. I think that's the rec center, that yellow building right over there. That's my guess anyways. It might not be. It might be around the corner, but it's somewhere right along the trail. Right? That might be the grocery store. Maybe it's right in back of it. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Let's see if we can make it over there. Hey, look. It's a pink hot dog sighting. I'm up here at this uh, rec center. I think it's called the J Blackbird Rec Center or something like that. And this is the room they put the hikers in. There's all the hikers that have been here already. And the laundry and shower are downstairs. My clothes are drying, so I'm just going to go down there and sit with them until they're ready. And then um, I'm out of here. Time to go to CVS and then on to lose for some lunch with David and Joanne. I'm almost done. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye. Oh, it's the Richard W. Black Community Center. That's a nice little place. And uh, they have that little service for hikers, which it's right on the trail. This is the trail, this, this street right here. So it's perfect. If you don't have a plan to stay in town, you can stop by and get your clothes washed, get your shower. And I'm sure that David and Joanne are going to really appreciate me being clean uh, versus stinky and smelly. My stuff is starting to smell. Just getting that moldy, smelly stuff on it. You know what I mean? All righty. Let's see here. I think we just go down this street. For some ways, I see a white blaze on that telephone pole down there. Got to hit that CVS before uh, I go get my lunch. Uh, and then I'll be on my way to Vermont. Probably the best resupply option here in this uh, little town of Hanover is this CVS Pharmacy. That co-op food store is kind of a healthy food place. No place for hikers, that's for sure. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Goes Joanne and Dave. We just ate lunch at Lou's and uh, had a real nice time with them. Uh, 
and that smash burger they got there loses something else Woo. so it's time to go to vermont let's get over there before the daylight runs out uh, just gotta stop at that post office once we get there and then it's back into the woods forever all right y'all i'll be back in a little bit hydrangeas mushroom loves hydrangeas That must be Dartmouth over there. Traffic. Dartmouth is one of those Ivy League schools, I believe. One of them fancy, fancy schools. It's a college town. You got to love a college town, though. It's a lot of excitement in a college town. All right, let's get across this street. All righty, y'all. Here we are, the Connecticut River. We're about to go into Vermont. Only problem is, is that uh, New Hampshire claims they own this whole river, but the sign is right here. I don't know who's right, but somebody's got to be right. Oh, it looks like it's up here now. Weird. Yep. There it is. The Connecticut River in New Hampshire. Let's get up here to this sign right here, and I believe it's right here. There it is. Well, I thought this was in the middle of the bridge. There it is. But it's almost all the way over. So maybe uh, New Hampshire decided to give a sliver of river to Vermont, because it's not that far away. They got a lot more river over here than they do over here but at any rate i'm in vermont and you can check new hampshire right off that list now i've got three states down i'm almost 1300 miles into this trip so uh that's where we stand let's get her done i'm going to vermont now i'll see you guys in a little bit well my feet are planted solidly in vermont y'all but we still gotta do this road walk for a while I believe that one right there is probably where we're going. Either that one or that one. We gotta go up to the top and then start cruising. Still going west though. Not going south for another couple of days. Gotta get over to the main junction. It's hot out here on this asphalt. I'll be looking forward to getting into the woods again soon. Look at this gigantic lilac in full bloom. That thing smells good. Turn on a smell vision if you want some. It's a white lilac. It's like a tree. It's not even a bush anymore. It's more like a tree. Pretty neat. I just got back from the post office. So, Elm Street it is. Hiking up Elm Street. There's a white blaze on that telephone pole right there. Got it. About 0.5 to get up there too. Trying to get out of traffic. People everywhere around here. Power up. That's a nice little state. It's right on the trail. Look at that big giant lilac bush back there. These trees have the same problem that where I saw in the woods yesterday. But yeah, me and Mushroom, we're gonna make a big hostel out of that one. We're gonna host hundreds and hundreds of hikers every day. Right up here on the Appalachian Trail. We're right here. Look, there's a little pond right there. Nice. I guess I better buy me a lotto ticket if we wanna do something like that. <laughs> I'm sure that house is a pretty, pretty penny. Probably one of the prettiest pennies around. All right, it's almost the end of this road walk, Jeez. It's been a long road. I forgot how long this was. We way up here. Way, way up here. I made it. See so those two kids down there? They're married. We met on that day. It was raining really hard and very cold. And uh, I had uh, some uh, trail magic down there by, uh, uh, I don't know, Troutdale or something. 
with the with uh, Jerry. That's who it was. And then um, I went up to that shelter. It was freezing cold, and then all of those uh, weekend hikers camped right next to me. Remember that day? I do. Well, I met them then, and we didn't figure that out until we were almost separated. But that's pretty cool. All right, look at this. Uh, time to get into the woods. Boom, pop out of the woods and another road walk. I've forgotten about all these road walks in this little section here. It's kind of road walky. Raining again, it stopped for a while, but then it started back up again. So I just gotta go down here to, uh, I think it's West Hartford, Vermont, something like that. It's a tiny little town. It's where the blue barn lady is. She'll let you sit up on her uh, porch, have a soda. And uh, there ain't much else there. There's a guy there that has a really nice garden. We talked to him for about 30 minutes last year. Then across the river, I think it might be the Housatonic, but I don't, maybe not. It's some river though. Gotta go across that river. Maybe I should like study stuff before I get on here, huh? <laughs> then they cross this river, and then I gotta pop up on this uh, ridge again. So that is what I got going on. It is West Hartford, and it's the White River, not the Housatonic River. And I think that mountain right in front of me, that's where I'm going. <laughs> So let's try and get up there today and then evaluate what I got to do for tomorrow. Got to get to either Gifford Woods State Park or US 4 on Friday. And I want to kind of leave a fairly short day. I don't want to get there at 5 or 6. I want to get there at 3 at the latest. I hope I can. That river over there, she's a Russian. A lot of water coming down off the mountain right now. Oh, they got bees over there. Nice one. I used to have an apiary. When we go down to Florida and we start our flower farm down there, I'll, I'll uh, get a couple of hives again. Keep them going. Bees are kind of fun. I was thinking I was going to make a big time business out of it, but <laughs> that was a mistake. Because they're, they're a lot of fun, but it's a lot of hard work and it's kind of backbreaking work in the middle of the summer in that bee suit make you sweat Woo. so i just have one or two hives i think all right i'll get down get back with you when i get down here at the bottom of the road when you come to west hartford you find this blue barn and you can go up there and sit on that porch and that lady will give you a grape soda she got a dog named max he gave me lots of kisses and side guy was interrogating me for intelligence about the White Mountains. So uh, we had a good time. He met Stops and Steve uh, somewhere in Vermont when they were doing their trail magic. So uh, we have mutual friends. 
<laughs> All right, it's about 6.30. I don't know, maybe even 7 o'clock. I'm just going to climb this mountain. There's a campsite up at the top of this hill, about 1.5 away. I'm just going to climb up here and uh, see if I can find a place to sleep and then call it a day. This is the White River. At first, I thought it was the Connecticut River. Then I thought it was the Housatonic River, but it's the White River. It does look a little white today. Got some rapids. Nice one. All right, rain stop. Let's get up on the top of this mountain and see how it goes. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All righty, folks. That's a wrap on day 86. It was kind of an interesting day. It wasn't your typical hiking day that I usually have. I, got, I was about four and a half miles away from uh, Hanover this morning. So I got up early, got myself down to uh, that rec center, and uh, sat there and edited videos, charged my batteries, took a shower, washed my clothes, went to that grocery store, got some watermelon and a couple of bagels, or beagles as they're called, uh, and uh, hung out there until about uh, 1130 or so. Then I rolled over to that CVS and finished up my resupply and uh, then headed over to Lou's restaurant for uh, some lunch with uh, Dave and Joanne. Uh, they have been watching us since the beginning and uh, we met them in Dalton last year and they wanted to meet me again. So they rolled up to Hanover from their house. I think it was like an hour or two drive from their place. And uh, we ate lunch together and that was just, just fantastic. I just love talking to them. They're just happy and uh, happy people. And I just, I had a great time. So uh, Lou's was busy. I had a smash burger. That thing was great. It's one of those, if you've ever been to Steak and Shake, it's like those burgers there. Uh, it's really, it was greasy and it was tasty. Uh, and I ate it all and I was waiting for Dave to see if he was going to finish his. I think he did. I might have taken half of it if he wouldn't have finished it, but uh, he's just like me. He's ready to eat. So <laughs> we ate and uh, that was that was a good burger. Let me tell you. I also had a donut there. Mushroom and I got donuts last year at that place and we were like, we got a couple and then we sat out there and ate them and then we went back more and got a couple more. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so, you know, it was just another rainy day. Big surprise there. Uh, my feet are wet again. I'm glad I have three pairs of socks now because I'll change into a dry pair tomorrow and not even worry about trying to dry these out. And uh, by the time I get to Rutland, I, I'll be in my last pair of dry socks and I'll just be able to wash my, my socks again and start all over. Um, I saw 27 through hikers today. And so that brings us up to 160 altogether. Uh, 166 actually. Yeah, 166 through hikers altogether. There's quite a stream of them coming up the mountain, coming down the mountain, going into town, coming out of town. Uh, it was kind of a, a neat a neat dealio there. So uh, yeah, quite a few through, through hikers. I did, did manage to almost get up to 15 miles today and uh, we'll uh, count that as a pretty decent day since I spent like six hours sitting in uh, Hanover, uh, not hiking really. But the nice thing about being in Hanover is I had to hike on the trail to get to the places I was going for the most part. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a wrap for today. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Uh, this next section is kind of like Vermont's version of the roller coaster. It's just a bunch of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs all day long. I haven't counted the the uh, uh, the ascents that I've got to go through tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot, maybe more than 10. And I'm gonna try and get myself as close as I can to either Gifford Woods State Park or US Route 4, which is uh, the route that takes you into Rutland. Uh, Giffords Woods, Gifford, Giffords Woods State Park is just up the street about three or four miles. So if I can get to that US Route 4, that'd be good. But I'm gonna try and get done by three so I can get in that hotel and get cleaned up and uh, have some uh, good quality times with Stops and Steve. Cause they're gonna be taking care of me uh, for the next uh, week or so, uh, quite a bit. So uh, it'll be nice to see them again and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Oh, first I got to eat, but then I'm going to bed. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Mushroom. I miss you. I hope you're doing good. And uh, I'll call you as soon as I can. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.